come on, come on, come on, come on. A crime which has traditionally been looked upon with some indulgence. We have all seen the musical Oliver and are familiar with the images of <laughs> jolly, apple-cheeked urchins in big hats. <laughs> well, dispel this cosy impression. The artful dodger was a thief. And I don't think he'd have considered himself quite so at home <laughs> in a juvenile detention centre, which is where I'd have put him. <laughs> thieving is thieving, and no amount of um papa or boom titty titty will change that. <laughs> An Englishman's pockets are his castle. More like a pocket billiard room. <laughs> Take the principal cray. There is a place for fatuous, flippant, would-be humorous inanities. <laughs> and that place is on Noel's house party. <laughs> Not in a police station. Yes, sir. <laughs> right, so let's see how it's done. Step forward, Constable Goody. <laughs> Walk towards me. Oops, I do beg your pardon. Oh, it's quite all right, sir. <laughs> Not all right for you, I fear, Goody because I have relieved you of the contents of your pocket. In this case, a Mars bar. <laughs> Constable Goody, a Mars bar is scarcely police equipment, is it? No, sir. No, sir, indeed, sir. <laughs> Are there any other items of confectionery secreted about your person? <laughs> no, sir. And by that you mean... Got a curly whirly in my truncheon. <laughs> well, in that case, get it out before it melts and soils the Queen's trousers. <laughs> it's not going to melt, is it? So it's going to get eaten. Great jangling Jehovah, it is not. I've never heard of such a thing. I will not have my officers gorging themselves while it's on duty handed over. Now sit down. Now, let's see if any of you can pick my pocket. You're not going to do the elephant in that. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, making me fish my curly-whirly out of my trousers. <laughs> He's going potty, is, you know. Fancy rushing out before work to buy a present for the Queen. But she never gets him anything. <laughs> I tried to...